Blau is looking for matchups down in this area. He's got to be able to find it. They've struggled to score touchdowns down in this area. This is where he's looking for his big tight ends or also Rondell Moore. Exactly, Kirk. The 31 red zone trips, only 17 touchdowns. Kicked 11 field goals in the red zone. And now a throw to the end zone. Caught touchdown! Isaac Zico! And Purdue goes 98 yards on the drive. How about Seiko? A little bit of a bobble. Right foot gets down right there. And I think his foot, his right foot is in. Possession after the slight bobble. There's a, just a little bit of a bobble at the beginning. When well, the left foot's down, but when the right foot touches there, he's got possession. And that is a heck of a play by Zico, who had a huge game a week ago against Illinois with five catches and 127 yards. Tremendous job by the senior out of Georgia, the junior college transfer in his second season here. Just a sliver of grass between his foot and the sideline there. And that is an incredible drive for Purdue. They had been sputtering and struggling on offense. Backed up at their two. 15 plays, 98 yards in more than seven minutes. Offside, defense, made contact. The penalty is declined. This is the try for point. That is not a Purdue drive, Kirk. We talked about their reliance, their dependence on big plays. They don't churn out drives like that typically. No, and they were able to convert some third downs, keep that drive alive. They had a fourth and short to keep that drive alive. Wow, it was seven of eight. Yeah. And now Spencer Evans on for the PAT. He missed three this year. Point afters have not been automatic for the Boilermakers. Had one blocked. One went off the upright. That was a senior from Texas. This one is right down the middle. What a drive for the Boilermakers. You know, I, oh, there's the touchdown. And I want to go back to that long play by Knox where he fumbled the ball forward and where they placed the ball. First of all, it's a great effort at the far right by Isaac Zico. Battling with Sheffield, who's in good position. Outstanding throw, but the concentration by Zico gives him the touchdown. We mentioned it during the first uh, uh, review of this. The right foot is in. It's clearly a touchdown. But if you go back to that play, where Knox is. Another good look at that. Go back to remember that was a crucial third down where Knox had fumbled the ball at the 17 yard line and it went forward out of bounds at the 12. They placed the ball at the 12 yard line, gave Purdue a first down. The ball, and with Dave Kataya who's up here, he could explain this better than me. Dave, the ball should be placed, I believe, where the ball, especially when it goes forward, where the ball is knocked out. When the ball is fumbled forward out of bounds, it's supposed to be restored to the spot of the fumble, which was not the 12-yard line. 17. It was the 17-yard line, correct. That was crucial. Gave them the first down. Purdue capped off their longest drive of the season, both in plays, yards, and time. The Boilermakers, two touchdown underdogs jump on top. Now Johnny Dixon charges.